Artists take years honing their skills and love to create for multiple reasons. Hobbies, work, appreciation, and community. But there's one thing that people will say whenever something bad happens to an artist's work. Copying is the serious form of flattery. Oh yeah, so flattering. Hey everyone, Okami here. I was kind of wishing I wouldn't have this as my first lectura based video. But no, we're following off a TikTok video I made back Christmas Day 2022. So uh, yeah, Merry Christmas to me and the people who are involved in the video. That video, as you likely saw in its description, was directed at a TikTok and Instagram user named Cindy Miracles. She is a fandom artist who hails from Argentina with Spanish as her native language. Yeah, it's a bit of a language barrier there since my native tongue is English. Though Cindy does take her time to send myself messages and comments in English, which in all honesty is very nice of her. Before continuing, I will make this very clear here. Do not, under any circumstances, harass any of the people I say in this video. If it isn't involving you directly, your words can be more harmful than the ones it's affecting. With all that said, let's get back into who Cindy is. She is a Selectera fan, hence her username on both platforms she's most active on. On her Instagram, you'll find that she describes herself as, and I quote, I'm not evil. I'm only evil when I'm out of control. And I am a fan of Selectera. My BB is pronto love heart, love of heart emoji. Well, you'd think a kid wrote that, and you'd be half right. According to her TikTok bio, she is 15. I repeat, 15. Fair enough, a lot of us had cringier times at 15. I was in the FNAF fan of hardcore for the love of slog. Going back to her Insta bio, the last line is where we need to start saying things. Her boyfriend is pronto Geronimo. Alright, cool, that's nice that you love him. However, this love boils into jealousy as she's described it when she outright makes gore art of another artist's original character. Blue Star Creations is a freelance artist who normally will draw her own sonar and original characters, but at times will draw some select era art. I had gotten Star into the series as she and I binged together for a sissy time voice call. She made her own OC, Katrina Drake, an amphibianoid character who she shipped with her favorite character, Pronto. Cindy has made a few anti-Katrina art pieces, both of the character being brutalized or simply have the art drawn over with crosses and angry faces. This is childish. Again, I know very well everyone is guilty of this kind of art. We always look back and think, wow, I was that petty? Star does not care if anyone else is shipping their character or a canon character with Pronto, as long as they are of age. However, she is rightfully upset when she saw gory art of her beloved original character. This is Cindy's own claim of being jealous. Cindy had taken down one of the posts for the complaints she had on it. I wonder why you got hate on it. It's almost like you're bullying characters for instantly liking another character. The jealousy does not stop there still. I've had some of my art altered with or outright traced and copied to replace Katrina with Cindy herself. It's downright despicable. I've said it far too many times for her to at least credit my work in the comments or direct messages. In some cases, she has, but those far underweigh the amount of times she has forgotten to credit. There are examples with my wedding image and the mermaid images I had made for Sluggist back in August of 2022. They are seen here being traced over Katrina, replacing her out of some ridiculous spite. The tracing and theft doesn't end there. She has removed my logo from my Ugandan Pronto drawing. Not just to crop out the background, no, actually erased from Pronto's shoulder pad or outright colored over it in this edit of him as a bee I think he's meant to be dressed as. Furthermore, she had also taken the time to take an art piece of stars and draw over it. If it was just a random image of stars she had posted, we would have just been annoyed and upset. But since it was one of stars your character here pieces, we are livid. If she had done this for private use, it's not any skin off Star's back. Same can be said for the bases that have been traced. Posting the original image alongside yours is enough for crediting since people can see it's a free to use base. It's a great habit to get into. There's also been a time where she may have taken a character design of mine. Here's the point, this thing. Pink hair, dark skin, and sunglasses. You know who else has all these traits? Trip Lewis. My own Slug Terror OC, I developed my fan fiction series, Slug Terror Twisted Ends. Trip is a pink haired, dark skinned character who is never seen without his sunglasses. This video was released prior to me uploading any images of Trip without his sunglasses covering most of his face. Hence the change of the different eye colours. Since my go-to OC Mira has blue eyes, it wouldn't be a stretch to say this character just used their colour for this wish value trip. I honestly found it interesting when I was asked if my newer OC Dandelion was copied from Cindy's own mouse character Lily. I just sent back a meme I had made about her pink haired male character and Trip as a joke. But also to see if she did remember that character in general, which she skipped over and asked if I I see everything she posts. I was honest and said it appears on my timeline and feed from time to time and then dug into the gory art she made of which I talked about prior. I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. During my screenshot hunt of pieces she had traced and not credited properly, I stumbled upon something quite questionable. 
Cindy herself is self-shift with Pronto. Alright, cool. But she also finds herself in relationships with characters like Bonzo Bunny from Puppy Playtime and the Lamb from Calls of the Lamb. Strange, but go off, I guess. However, it gets weird. She shifts herself with Tales of Fox from Sonic. Tails is eight to nine years old. As I was talking to Cindy about the gore she had made of herself killing Katrina, I asked the question. Me. Also, I must ask about your persona. What age is she? Cindy. Who? Me. Your persona, the one in the picture, killing Cat, aka you. Cindy. Well, she's 25 years old. I know she doesn't show it, but she's 25. I knew something was off. I had been scrolling through TikTok and out pops these videos where Cindy explains that her character's ex was Twist. Twist. Twist is the rival to Eli in the first season of Slug Terror. He is meant to mirror Eli as a character, thus putting him around the same age, 15 to 16. So someone explain to me how it's okay for this character, who is 25 at best, confirmed by her creator, to have dated a 15 to 16 year old teenager and an 8 to 9 year old fox. Mind you, I have commented several times regarding the age of Twist along with Tad from when she had made a video with the canonically 13 year old crushing on her. And these aren't the only three she's made crush on her character who are underage. Eli and Trixie were not spared as seen in the screenshot of all four current Shane game members blushing at Cindy. There's a video of Eli kissing Cindy and a video of Tails forcing himself onto her. It would be perfectly fine if her persona was also 15, just like how the real life Cindy is, and she created a new character to be shipped with for Tails. However, the persona is 25. Even if she was DEH to 15, Pronto would then be in hot water for being with a minor. Cindy is aware that the characters of Twist and Tad are underage. She has liked my comments before about it. How do I know she actually reads my comments? Well, she hasn't liked this one I made about preferring Pronto ex Katrina over her ex Pronto. With the art theft and tracing over a petty jealousy for a fictional character, Cindy of Miracles needs to take a hard look on all the stuff she's done. Look, I'm fine with you using my art as long as you credit me. However, tracing and claiming the art as your own is not on. People spend hours to days working on pieces. The least you could do is credit them properly. Thank you all for your eyes and ears, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.